I'm Sita and welcome to Airship Dreams Unboxing. We want to know what you have at home that connects to airships. This could be anything from photographs to a model, newspaper cuttings or any memorabilia with an airship on it. Airships of course went across the Atlantic and connected the world. We'd like to hear your stories whether you're in Cardington, Bedford, Montreal or Karachi and beyond. Today, let's meet Alistair, who is in Bedford, and see what he has in his box at home. Hi there, I'm Alistair Dawson. I'm the Vice Chairman of the Etch Heritage Trust, and I'm here to share some of the contents of my box. So let's have a look. So these are three things that describe my interest in airships and sort of the passion and some of the history. So my first item in the box is a little airship model. It uh, represents a Skyship 600, and this is one of the things that used to fly over my house when I was a teenager. Ruined my GCSEs because I spent all my time staring out the window at school and looking up when I was doing my paper rounds. I used to see these flying over the house, and so, uh, yeah, represents my sort of childhood. And also, my hero, James Bond, was hanging off one in a view to a kill when I was you know, 15. So honestly, you can't get better than that to get you hooked into airships. That's the first item. Second item is, it's a book. It's actually a gorgeous old scrapbook that was given to me by the then curator, our curator at the Trust, Den Birchmore, who'd been involved with airships and Cardington for virtually all of his life. Um, and it's a fabulous scrapbook of cuttings and pictures um, and it, it just does it's sort of every airship and it's wonderful because it's personal and it's my connection with Cardington, with Den uh, and yeah there are some fantastic pictures in here that even and I've not seen before but it's a fantastic collection of sort of real airship history, absolutely love it. And the last thing is something that's a little bit special uh, when I was 26, I managed to go on a trip to Germany to the Zeppelin Museum and managed to see a collection of airship um, artifacts from the Hindenburg and the Graf Zeppelin and those wonderful heady days of airships from the 1920s and 30s. And I always said to myself, wow, of all the things I'd love to have would be cup and saucer from the Hindenburg. And it's wonderful. I'd never seen the detail because I remember being captivated to help a whole set there in the, um, the glass cabinet. But I'd never seen until I managed to be able to afford one when I was older. But the detailing on it is absolutely incredible. The, um, you know, the, so it gives you the sense of style of, sort of art deco design. But even just for cups and saucers on an airship, you know, these were the Concorde of the day. And so the rich would be able to afford to fly the Atlantic and go on their journeys, but they would expect the top quality. So that sort of reminds me of what the airships in general um, effectively were all about. It was about supersonic transport in the 1930s, getting there really quickly, but in absolute style. And this is what people would have expected. So cup and saucer, absolutely exquisite. Anyway, anyway I hope you liked uh, my little bit of airship history in a box, and I look forward to seeing yours. What brilliant objects! I hope that sparked some thoughts and ideas for you. What objects do you have at home? In the attic, under your bed, or pride of place on the mantelpiece? Do you have a relative that has a memory of airships? We'd love to hear your stories and see your unboxing videos. These are so easy to film. You can use your smartphone or computer and send them to us at hello at airshipdreams.com or call us on 01234 818 670 or tag us on Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag Airship Dreams. For more information, just head to our website airshipdreams.com. We can't wait to connect and share with you. Keep airship dreaming!